Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to our next Let's Play project. This will be a really small game, but this is the very first game that I ever played in 3D. I remember I had the Nintendo 64. Well, it was my brother's, but he he got the he had he got the Nintendo 64 and this game for Christmas one year when I was addicted to the Genesis. And we absolutely loved logging the hours in this game. Even though this game is notoriously short. Literally, I did, I did a practice session of this. Uh, every, I've done everything in just under a couple hours. But I'm just letting the interest sequence play just to, you know, make sure all my bearings and whatnot are safe. And, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to my Let's Play of... I'll just let the announcer say it. But yeah, this is one of my favorite games. Easily one of my favorites. It's a, it's a small one, but it's worth it. So as you can see here, I've unlocked everything that I needed to unlock, aside from here. But I did a little, I did a little bit of practice, we're gonna go warm up. Select You'll notice the names are different. Uh, characters here, we have Ryota, Ryota Hayami, or R. Hayami. In this case, I have renamed him as uh, fittingly as I could think. But he's kind of like your character that has decent top. He has uh, the second best top speed, kind of, kind of, kind of the all-arounder of sorts. You've got um, I'm trying to remember her name. I think her name uh, Aisha or something. Aisha Stewart. But uh, we even renamed her Masayanella. <clears throat> she has the worst top speed, the best. I want to say the best acceleration. And the second best in terms of handling. Then you got uh, Miles Jetter was his name, and this is the character I'll be playing as, as you can see here. All right, everybody, you he'll hold up, and everybody has an alternate costume. Let's do that there real quick. Uh, but yeah, Miles Jetter, and he only appears in this game. He doesn't appear in the games in the uh, GameCube sequel, Blue Storm. Really unfortunate. And then, uh, I want to say his name is Dwight or Dwayne Mariner. He has the fastest top speed, the worst acceleration, and worst handling. Kind of the tiny tiger of the uh, game. And we have aptly named him Nintendo Capri Sun. <clears throat> but we're going to be playing as this guy, and I'll play as him. And you can even do uh, cut. You can even do uh, custom even uh, customizations. Uh, I don't mind this too much. <clears throat> I don't mind this too much, but I I much rather play with just normal settings. That's just me. And anyway, let's let's go warm up. Welcome, Welcome to, to Dolphin, Dolphin Park. Park. Dolphin Park is just your strict warm up course. Warm up time. Follow that dolphin. This announcer lady will give you like all the gist of everything, so that's nice. So let me go over like controls. Hold A or Z to accelerate. Use a control stick to turn. The B button will kind of do this little thing where you can... I think the best way to do it is go off a ramp. But I'll hold B right here and do this. Kind of helps you, uh... Kind of helps you, uh... Hit the water faster. As you can see, here's the difference. Not holding B. I'm sorry. Not holding B. Well, or a mashing B, I should say. Now I'll mash B. See the difference there? You can do tricks too. Such as front flips. I said, such as front flips. Front flips, back flips, bell rolls. You can even dive underwater too. Back and forward. You can control the height of your jump by moving the rider forward or You can do handstands. You can do whatever that is, whatever this is. Hold back and he'll do a backflip off that. And that's pretty much all you gotta know. Anyways, the goal of this game is just go as fast as you can. And these times you're gonna see here are my practice times. So let's get this thing started. 
like any good racing game, if you, uh, pre if you uh, press the accelerator at the moment the race starts, you usually get some kind of turbo boost. In this case, you go to max power. Um, basically, it's just follow the arrows. If you uh, do this, if you miss, you power all the way down, and the way to get your power back up is you have to follow the course. Miss too many times, and the race automatically ends. But I figure I show that off. But yeah, this is a really basic racing game that's really fun. I am ashamed that we didn't get something like this on the Wii. Like, we got we got Wave Race 64 on the Wii Shop, but why the hell didn't we get a Wave Race title for the Wii? I think the closest thing is um, I'm trying to think of it. But uh, there's a there's a uh, mini game in the Wii Sports Resort collection that kind of resembles Wave Race. But all it is is just simple time trials for score attacks and stuff. Like, I think we could have had like a bona fide wave race game. <clears throat> Anyways, after every after every race, you get scored. First place gets you seven. Second place gets you four. Third place gets you two, and fourth place gets you one. So it's pretty damn big. Try to finish as best as you can. And if you Welcome don't if you don't Day. reach the points needed to advance after every race, it just ends. There are no second tries either. There are no second tries. Three, two, one. So here we are in Sunset Bay, a really nice sunset kind of track, name and plot, as the name implies. But I love this track. This is probably my favorite looking track aesthetically. Backflip. Oh right. You can also hold either the L or the R button to kind of control your handling. Like so. Well, I don't know why you'd want to do that. Okay, so it's only the uh, R. It's only the R trigger. I thought it was L. I swear to God, I am not do I am not doing this bad on purpose. Yeah, if you hit the uh, bu I just as I hit the buoy there, if you hit it hard enough from a certain a from a certain uh, angle, you will fly off. You will fly off your water ski. Not much else I could tell you that I that I hadn't already said. Unless you feel like hearing me gush about the music for about oh. Two hours. <coughs> also, Bonsai. You finished first and got second. Move on to the next. Welcome, Welcome to, to Drake, Drake Lake. Lake. This one's pretty cool. It's got a fog Watch mechanic. I wish we could race on this track without the fog. Three, two, one. Go! Like, come on. I want to say this song, the Drake Lake song, is uh, is grounds for one of my favorite racing themes ever. All right, if I could get my head out of my ass and actually, you know, drive competently, that'd be great. <laughs> oh, you gotta watch out here! Right now, these uh, little uh, poles that are up right now, not a problem. But guess what? They will become a problem later. I'm looking at my stream while playing this lap. Not my stream, but uh, my uh, preview, my preview playback since I'm using OBS. I don't know why. See, look how beautiful this tr this track looks without the fog. Like, really, this is beautiful. <coughs> you finished first and got to the next. 
All right, I'll actually look at my game screen now. Welcome to Marine Fortress. Marine Fortress. This track and me have a love-hate relationship. Are you ready? Three, two, one. Hold back. The ways here are really wild, but what makes this track really a, a pain in the ass is that on later difficulties, uh, where you saw there's two couple of crates in the middle of the track there, that gets loaded with even more crates and debris that if you hit it, you're going flying. In my practice run eh, on expert mode, I got my ass handed to me. Like, I got absolutely destroyed by that debris. It was god-awful. I hated it so much. Okay, I messed that one up. But yeah, normal mode shouldn't pose any probs, even for beginners. <sighs> I'm doing this as I just get done watching an episode of Spongebob. They had the good ones on! An episode, they, hour and a half I should say. They had the good ones on! Welcome to Port Blue. This is probably another one of my favorite tracks aesthetically. Have a good race. Three, two, one, go! I think it's the water that does it for me. Like, look at this water. This easily looks like port water. I also hold a special place in my heart for Port Blue because this is where I learned how to do stunts. If you ever, if you ever uh, hit yourself off an obstacle and you only like, you only just barely manage to hang on, uh, hit hit both the A and Z button, your accelerators, really fast, and that'll speed up the process of getting back on your bike. Same applies if you fall off. Handstand. Don't know how long this Let's Play will be. I want to say at the bare minimum it'll be, it'll be four parts, one for each cup. I don't have anyone around to play multiplayer with me, so I can't exactly show that off. Maybe in the future, if I get a, if I get a buddy over here, we'll show it off. I'll ask him, hey, you want to play some Wave Race? And be like, I'll be like, I'll force you. We gotta play, we gotta get, we gotta show off multiplayer and show off how bad this is. If anything, I can just wire my one controller to host uh, both characters. So how's everyone doing right now for the uh, score? So, uh, oh man, I mean, what sucks is that, like, they ne the AI never has to meet the point requirements to move on to the next round, while you do. Southern Island. This track's pretty unique in the way that it handles its three laps. Oh, also, dive here. And then I'll give you a shortcut. Helps save a lot of time. The AI will never take that shortcut, so you're good. Take the boat here. Ah, oh, man, I hit the pole. The mast. Killer whale!
What the hell? Did I just lap somebody? I think I lapped somebody. <laughs> I lapped him! 38 seconds out! 38 seconds behind, and it would be the character I named Chugger Conroy. Oh, man. 24 seconds behind. Damn! Alright, that's it. So they decided, okay, so in the event of a tie, whoever finished in the uh, higher positioning would end up winning the race. Or would end up winning overall. That's cool. Hey, look, a seagull! I don't think I beat any of my practice times. That would be a resounding... <laughs> get good. That would unlock hard mode. Okay, so we got records, but I did not, uh... I'm gonna do this. And now it's gonna stick itself for a little while. Spoilers on what our next tracks are gonna be. I had a really good time in uh, normal mode on Drake Lake, but that's gonna do it for th that's gonna do it for this episode, guys. Next time we're gonna go take on the hard circuit. This is Ragamuna signing out. You guys have a great night. Thank you for watching, and take care.